Hello everyone, welcome to TS Info YouTube channel. This is Shandrika from TS Info Technologies. In this video tutorial, I will explain you about Power Automate Get Items Filter Query Date. Based on the SharePoint Date column, let's see the filter query examples of Get Items in the Power Automate flow. For opening up the Power Automate homepage, let's type make.powerautomate.com in the browser. If you have already logged in with your Microsoft credential, then it will directly navigate to the Power Automate homepage. See, now I have been navigated to the Power Automate homepage. To explain the examples on Power Automate Get Items Filter Query Date, I will use this SharePoint list as a reference, which has the column names like Employee ID, Employee Full Name, Total Leaves, Leaves Date, Return Date, and ID column. I will show you the example based on the Leave Date and Return Date. So let's go back to the Power Automate homepage in the power automate homepage on the left navigation we can find create button so click on the create now i will create a automated cloud flow so select automated cloud flow and select when an item is created or modified trigger if you want you can give the flow name here or else we can also give in the flow studio i was giving here the flow name as power automate get items filter query date examples and tap on the create button before creating the flow let me explain what is meant by get items filter query filter query is an option that is found in the get items and get rows option in the power automate flow actions this option is useful to filter the data based on the requirement using the specific condition so it means we can provide a specific conditions of the filter query so that it will fetch the data from the sharp list based on the given data these are the operators that we can use in the filter query conditions like if you is the notation for equals any is the notation for not equals and gt for greater than ge for greater than or equals to ld for less than and le means less than or equal so we have seen about the operators let's create the power automate flow in the trigger select the site address and the list name here i was selecting the site address and list name that i that i have shown earlier to you in my sharepoint list so this is the finance department site with the vacation tracking sheet as a sharepoint list so let's select this finance department as a site and list name as a vacation tracking sheet after the trigger add the get items flow action in the get items flow action we can see the option of filter query so we have connected vacation tracking sheet to the power automate flow now i wanted to filter out the data from here which is equals to the today's date that means i will filter out the data where leave date has the today's date so let's go back to the power automate flow here select the site address finance department and list name vacation tracking sheet here we have to give the filter query conditions for giving the filter query conditions always we need to take the internal name of the list column so go back to your sharepoint site for taking the internal name of the leave date i was assigning it to older to newer so that we can get internal name in the url the internal name is that which is next to the equals to of sort field this is the internal name so copy the internal name I was pasting the internal name in the filter query option space. Now we have to give the operator that is equals to operator. We have to provide the conditions of current date within the single quotes. Single quotes here and take the expression expression as format date time with UTC now comma within single quotes. You can give the format of date that is year 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 month month and day day after giving the format here click on ok so that it will add format date time with the utc now expression to the filter query option and close the single quote so to see the filter data i will create a html table for that let's take the create html table flow action in create html table take value from the get items that is from we can find from the dynamic content and we can also customize here the table in a custom table to show the data here i will only take the two columns that is employee full name and leave date employee full name take the value as employee full name in the value section take the value of employee full name from the dynamic content so we can also search here uh, i was taking employee full name from the get items of dynamic content after that i was taking the leave date as the same way we can also take the leave date from the get items of dynamic content so now the flow is ready 
and click on save radio button that is manually and test now i will go back to the sharepoint list i will edit one of the item in the sharepoint list with the today's date so this is the november date i will add today's date that is 13th i will take today's date that is 13th for the employee id that is gf84 employee name as lydia holloway so exit the grid view as we can see the flow ran successfully and now open the create html table in the html table of the body the body of html table will show the filtered items which has today's date as a leave date that is uh, this is the item which we have been modified this is the item which we have modified along with this it also retrieves items which have today's date that is 13th december 2023 now we'll see the example of power automate get items filter query date which is less than today which means it will get which means it will get the SharePoint list items that have date, leave date less than today's date. Open the get items flow action. In the get items flow action, we only need to change the operator that is less than. For less than, we have to place LT as a operator. And the formula is same format date time UTC now and year month date. So once click on save and test the flow manually and test. Let's go back to the SharePoint list. Now I was editing the item. Here the first item has the today's date. So I will change it to less than today. I was taking it as a December 1st, 2023 and exit the grid view. So now the flow ran successfully. Open create HTML table. Retrieve the items in the SharePoint list which has the leave date less than today's date. And today's date is 13 as you know, as you have seen earlier. And uh, leave date is 2023 12 1 and 2023 10 18. Now in the get items filter query. I was giving the I was changing the operator to GT, which means greater than. Now it will retrieve the items from the SharePoint list which have leave date as greater than today's date. So save the flow and test the flow. Now I was taking the option that is automatically with a recently used trigger and uh, test the flow. Now the flow ran successfully and open the create HTML table. See the outputs of HTML table. It has been retrieved the items which is greater than today's date. That is 2024-16 and 2023-12-29. And today's date is 13th December 2023. Now let's see the example of filter query date on created date. This is the SharePoint list. And uh, today I haven't created any items. Uh, let's see if the get items will retrieve any items from today's date. Let's go back to the Power Automate flow and in the get items, edit the filter query. I was changing now the internal name. I was taking it as created and change the operator to equal, which means created date is equals to the today's date that is UTC now. Then it will retrieve the items that we have created today. So let's save the flow, test the flow manually. Now I was going back to the SharePoint list and I was modifying the existing items, but I was not creating any item. So I was taking leave date and exit the grid view. Now let's open the HTML table. As we can see, employee full name and leave date has null values here because today we haven't created any items. I, I will show you one more example that is filter query date within seven days. If the return date in the vacation tracking sheet has the last seven days, that is today's date is 13th December and 2023. If the, the return date has the values that is up to the, that is prior to the seven days, then it will retrieve the items of the SharePoint list. Then it will fetch those items. So come back to the flow. Now, and as I have said before, we have to take the internal name of the return date. 
follow the same way that is and uh, this is the internal name copy the internal name and uh, come back to the flow i was giving the filter query return date and take the operator greater than within single quotes course in the expression we have to provide the expression which retrieve the return date items which have that have last seven days values so format date time within brackets add days and uh, take the utc now function comma take minus seven after that comma within single quotes give the format of date i was taking here year month and date so this is the expression and click on ok and provide the single close the single quote and in the create html table let's take the return date let's take return date with return date from the dynamic content of get items and test the flow manually now i was going back to the sharp point list edit the flow the flow ran successfully and open the html table in the body we can see the return date in the body of html table we can see only the items that has return date with the last seven days values to see the more examples on power automate filter query date go through the blog post that i have been provided in the description box this is all about power automate get items filter query date examples and for more video tutorials on sharepoint online power as power automate and power bi please do like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the bell icon see you in the next video thank you